Hey folks, Fall Creek Prepper here. A few weeks ago on Shop Talk, I did a review of the Alien Gear Cloak and Tuck holsters. These are the uh, Kydex and uh, hybrid material holsters. This one is a Kydex and a rubber material. This one's Kydex and a leather with a uh, foam backing. The, these holsters are uh, rugged, they're well made, they're made in the USA by Alien Gear. The, we'll start with the outside the waistband, the, the cloak. This holster features a Kydex shell with a rubber backing and a Kydex or some hard plastic material back here. And in between, sandwiched in between those is a piece of metal. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it works like a spring. It gives it a spring tension so that it uh, kind of gives you a, a little more retention while also allowing you a little bit of flex when you draw your gun so that it's not as rigid when you draw your gun. But it also allows you very good retention. So you have these little grommets in here that allow you to adjust your retention even further. So if you need it a little more, a little less retention, or as your holster ages and wears, if you need to tighten it up or loosen it enough that you need to actually change the grommet, it comes with a few different sizes of grommets where you can adjust, make those adjustments. In addition to that, you get the paddle and you also get a belt slide that you can change out on this holster so that you can carry it the way you want to carry it. Whether you want a belt slide carry or if you want the uh, the paddle style. And I'm not always a fan of a paddle style holster. But I really like this because the paddle is not even as big as the holster. You see, see how the holster is larger than the paddle itself. And it, uh, it holds itself really well. It's, uh, it's not too hard to get on and off. I, when I wear this, I take it off when I get in my vehicle and place the, uh, the firearm in my console. And then when I get out, I, I put it back on my belt and go about my business and just you know, throw my shirt over it and, and go on about my way. In addition to that, we have the the tuck. The tuck is called the tuck because the way the, the way the clips are done, it gives you enough room that you can tuck your shirt back over this. When you this goes inside your waistband, and then you have this little room here where your shirt goes back over it. And as far as what it's for and everything, it, it seems to work pretty well, but I live in South Alabama, and there is no way in hot months that I can wear something that has a thick foam liner on the back, leather on the uh, on the front of it, and then a, a Kydex shell. I mean, that's just that's just way too much. Uh, in the winter time. When I first got this, it was uh, early. No, it wasn't even spring yet. And uh, it was fine. Except for the fact that I'm not real big on uh, inside the waistband carry. With that being said, this is still a great holster. Um, the clips you can get to mount this on... Uh, a vehicle or a wall or whatever make it a, a good choice as well there's also a clip 
uh, a bracket that you can get for this. I have the bracket for this, but trying to film it was kind of weird because of the area that it's in. There's not really enough light down there to get a good look at it, but uh, this just clips right into it, so you just snap it right in place, snap it right back out. Really easy to use. The grommets for this, you also have the same system here where you can change the grommets out to uh, to accommodate uh, more or less retention. Uh, you also get some adjustment from, you can change the cant by changing which holes these go in. There's also uh, other clips that you can use and uh, there's also uh, a magazine carrier that you can get. I didn't get the magazine carrier. Wish I had of, but I didn't. I didn't opt for it. Uh, but I may may get one in the future. But as far as this holster goes, uh, especially this one, this is one of the best holsters that I have ever used. Uh, one of the best that I've ever bought. And uh, like I had said before, the the cost of this thing, it the cost of it, it's it's hard to to give you a price because of the fact that they run specials all the time. They run deals where, like when I bought this, I got both of these and got them for it was a few dollars cheaper than buying them separately and uh then there was uh, another package deal where you got a uh, magazine holster and some other stuff i think the i think they had a belt with it that was also like a, a deal where you you got it all for a little cheaper than you could buy them separately or something but uh but I, I opted to buy the two of them together because I wasn't sure which one I wanted and I heard a lot of good things about this. And if you like inside the waistband carry, this is a great inside the waistband holster. It's just uh, don't don't let my uh, personal opinion of inside the waistband carry detract you from this holster because uh, as far as inside the waistband goes, this is a great inside the waistband holster. It's just I prefer the outside the waistband and uh, like I said, if you live somewhere where you have a lot of really hot weather and high humidity, this is probably not the best because the sweat guard on this, it really does its job because it's going to keep the sweat off of your gun because it's going to it's going to stay right up with you. But uh, in addition to this, the they have a new system uh, called the Shape Shift system that incorporates both of these uh, sort of into one unit, where you change it all out and do different things with it, and you can change the shells so that you end up with uh, the a different cant, different. Uh, carry options and everything I've seen a few reviews on it so you know you can go look up the shapeshift system and find some reviews on it from people that know much more about it than I do because I've only seen little bits and pieces of it but as far as this system goes the the cloak and the tuck these are both great options like I said I prefer the outside the waistband carry so the, the cloak is always going to be my top option and uh that's that's pretty much it for my review here and uh i'll see you guys later fall creek prepper out